Yo, what up people? All right, I've gotten a hundred emails from you guys, so let's talk about it. The green, the gond, the herbal, whatever you want to call it. We're going to talk about how you get it, how much you should be paying for it, what happens if you get caught with it, and then we'll get a little bit into horticulture. But, there's an issue. Come check this out. That is on the way. So, I want to try to beat it. Oh, I'm getting chewed up by hands. <laughs> Let's try to do this before this rain gets here because I'm not trying to get stuck in the rain again. All right, are you ready? So I'm guessing everybody knows what I'm talking about. I'm trying to keep the words to a minimum. I just got monetized this month, so, you know, let's keep YouTube happy for at least a month. I just like to tell people, just go to the bar and just talk to like the bartenders. Talk to a couple people that are around the, uh, around the bar and just like ask if anybody's from around there and just be like, hey, you know, like I got a medical card in the States. Um, can I use that here? Uh, is there any place that I can get something like that? Somebody's gonna help you out, man. It's like, I, if you go, if you talk to a taxi, you talk to a, a bartender, and you just kind of, you know, I know a lot of people are kind of weird about like saying like, hey, do you guys have weed? But if you just say like, hey, you know, I got this medical card and uh, I, you know, in, in the States I can use, um, you know, medical marijuana. I don't know if you can do that here. And if there is, do you know anywhere I can get it? Somebody's gonna be like, yo, I got some in the backyard. You know what I mean? So it was difficult. I know, I know it's weird, but after you do it the one time, you're gonna get your connect and then you're good. I'm here. Got it. get it. Most people are way too sketched out for that. Now I know 90% of you are not going to just go up to a random person at the bar and ask them for some bud. I get it. So my next option would be for you to go onto a Facebook thread in an area that you're thinking about moving to and then just ask people on there. Just DM them and say, hey, you know, I'm going to be going to Guanacaste in a couple months. Do you know anyone that might have a connection to some green out there? Um, you know, like, dude, I'm telling you, that stuff is like breathing air here. It's why we're so chill. Everybody smokes and really, I mean, just have to ask. All right, Whoa. now that we've gotten that out of the way, let's talk about pricing and quality. All right, quality sucks. It's horrible, it's terrible never good it's never good uh they'll tell you yo i got that good stuff it's never good don't believe them unless you're getting crippy or you know who you're getting it from and you know they you know they get other things than just what you normally get here if you're just getting the regular down the road greenery then you are getting garbage stem seeds all that stuff but I'll tell you what, it's still, it's not like you're not getting stoned because you will still get absolutely ripped out of your mind for sure, but you'll just have to puff a little more. So how much is it? Um, I would say anywhere from 45 to $65 at the most, really. I mean, unless, again, unless it's like something a little different, for the most part, $65 should be the most you pay for an ounce. That's it. 
um nobody's getting like grams and stuff i mean some the tico's doing stuff but just buy an ounce it's worth it and then um and then if you can get the good stuff i mean then you're paying at the mercy of them for the most part it is what you would normally hear twenty dollars a gram uh for the good stuff but it's like cali weed you know it's like it's good it's good stuff you know whatever i mean to each their own personally i think i'd rather just spend the 60 bucks get my little bit thing if you get enough it's good you know it'll get you through uh you know it got me through first two three years so it'll do believe me what's up buddy hey little baby Literally, I'm walking in the house and here it comes. That couldn't have worked out any better. <laughs> oh, I left my cell phone home the whole time. I have no idea. Anyway, what happens when the boys find your stash? And, well, to be honest, <laughs> nothing like really nothing i mean as long as you got under an ounce on you you're not holding a bunch of stuff in your trunk and you got a whole bunch of stuff uh if they pull you over and you got a joint or they see you at the beach and you're smoking they're just gonna take it they're gonna search your bag to make sure you don't got anything else really what they're looking for is the white stuff uh and then uh once they find out that you got nothing, they're just gonna take your bud and they're gonna take a picture of your passport, maybe. I mean, they did for me twice, three times actually. Um, and then that's it. Uh, that's pretty much the last you hear about it. So the first time I was a little spooked, I thought I was going to jail. I asked the girl if I was getting locked up. She just laughed at me. And she said, what are you here for Envision? And I was like, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm here for Envision. So, uh, and then the second time, it just, you know, kind of felt like, all right, well, this happened before and they didn't do anything, so I don't think they're going to do it again, do anything this time, so, and they didn't. So, three times I've been in trouble with the law, and three times they have just kind of took my picture, uh, took a picture of my passport, took my weed, and uh, that was the last I saw them, so. Yeah, so I mean, honestly, you know, don't uh, don't take everything I say for definite because it obviously depends on who you're dealing with and the situation and, um, you know, I don't know. I mean, it's all about money here. Uh, they see me, they realize that I don't really have anything and then they get a couple joints out of me and they're like, cool, bro, like, that's better than nothing. So, I don't know, it might be different for you, but for me, it was just, hey, Give me that bud. For you, it might be a little more extortion. I don't know, I don't know. I don't know anything. I don't know anything, people. I'm just here living my life, telling you my experiences.
All right, well, listen, this rain is here. I just got some chicken and it's frozen, so I gotta get it on the water so I can warm it up. This battery is gonna die, so I'm gonna charge the battery and we're gonna get back to the end of this video. I gotta tell you a little bit about some horticulture that'll help you out if you're moving to Costa Rica. It's something you, it's a must know, so stay tuned. Plus, I got some real good news. Real good news about this whole topic. I just saw it this morning, it's amazing. It just so happened that I was gonna make this video this morning and then I saw this, so. Awesome news, stay tuned, give me a couple minutes. probably like dude I don't know anything about plants I really don't know much about plants either but I'm gonna do this the simplest way I can do it there's two phases in a plant's life vegetation and flower in vegetation optimal growth is at 16 to 18 hours of sunlight and for flower it's 12 hours only and here's where the problem starts in Central America we're so close to the equator that we only have 12 hours and 45 minute max of sunlight. So that means if you put your plant in your backyard and let that 12 hours of light just do the job, it's not going to be the most optimal plant and you're not going to get that much growth. So what's the solution? Bring your plant inside, throw some LEDs on it for another 6 hours of light, and then in the morning bring your plant back outside and in the next couple months when you're ready to flower, just keep it outside, let nature do its thing, and boom, you'll have a beautiful flowering plant. Basically what I'm saying is that we just don't have the light that you normally have if you live in like California, New Jersey area, where it's like, you know, a good spot for growing. So here you would have to just get yourself some indoor lights, maybe a little indoor tent or a second bedroom that you just don't use, and then bring your plants inside during the night give them a couple extra hours of light because you only get 12-12 here. So if you only get 12-12, then that, that means that they only want to be in flower the entire time. So you're going to wind up with these little things that are just going to try to go to flower, and that never works. I mean, unless you live way up in the mountains and that's a whole other world and you know what you're doing up there, I don't. I'm not, that's not my, that, my expertise. I'm talking about that beast life. I'm talking about you got to have some lights in your house. you got to... Keep them things going all night long, uh, and then in the morning, bring them out. It's a pain, man. You know, you want to go on vacation, you want to do this and that. Well, you're going to kind of lose out on, uh, you know, your plants, because it's something that if you want something to keep on perpetual going, keep keep going, keep going, you're going to have to constantly be on top of it. It's, a, it's, it's something that I live with every day. Listen, great news. One second. Let me get it straight from the horse's mouth. Anyway, Costa Rica is back. I keep on kicking that damn camera. Costa Rica is back on the ball, baby. Cheers to Costa Rica. Mm. So right as the crisis hit and everything kind of went to downhill, um, everybody um, kind of knew that Cannabis was the way, man. Cannabis is the future. We know what happens. So they kind of put it through as a bill, as a, you know, kind of like, hey, check this out. Check out how many billions of dollars we can be, you know, um, earning uh, through this cannabis movement. And then a lot of things happened, and it was like kind of a thing that they just couldn't, they couldn't, didn't make sense for them to actually sit there and talk about right now. It's just like there's so much other go things going on. They're not talking about cannabis, you know. It's not going to happen tomorrow anyway. So... Today! They are back on the ball. They're talking about legalizing cannabis in Costa Rica, baby. Uh, they're looking for the same rules as Colombia apparently I mean that's kind of what they said in the article I mean you're also talking about an article the article could be whatever but um, they're kind of looking for the same rules of Colombia which means that you it would be medical so um, I didn't know that Colombia is medical I had no idea 
I actually thought Columbia was like one of the harshest states. I thought if you got caught with a joint there, you're going to jail. Please correct me if I'm wrong, because I thought that. But, uh, so apparently uh, Argentina is legal and they can grow and they can they have medical and uh colombia is medical so costa rica is trying to jump on the train people which just gives you that much more hope and less nerves about you know getting caught with a little bit of bud or asking some random people for some bud telling you just ask just ask if you're coming by me i'm not your weed man but i can hook you up you know what i'm saying buy me a beer we'll talk about it you know what i'm saying hey people i love you you know what to do i'm not even gonna tell you i'm not even gonna tell you you know what to do hey check out that merch i gotta get this merch in my hands i keep on sending stuff to florida and I don't send it here. It's just like I'm, I'm piling up a big box of shit that I'm going to send here. But uh, by the time I send it, it's going to be so much money. Ah! I love you guys. You know what to do. Talk to you soon. Check out that link for the merch. Yo, I got more merch on the way. I appreciate you guys. You really putting in that work for that. Uh, let me know in the comments what you want next. I got some grocery videos coming. I got a couple other things, but I need some ideas. So let me know what you're looking for. Peace, people.